My name is John Schwabish, and I'm going to show you how to create a custom color palette in Tableau. Now, creating a custom color palette for Tableau is not particularly difficult, although you are going to have to do a little bit of coding. But as you'll see in this set of videos, I'm going to walk you through each piece of the code. It's not particularly difficult, but you are going to need to open a text file from your Tableau repository, edit that particular text file, save it, and then reopen Tableau. And magically, you'll have your own custom color palette in Tableau to help you create more effective, more beautiful, and more standard data visualizations in the Tableau software tool. So take a look at these videos to learn how to do so. In the first part of this tutorial, we're going to create a basic line chart in Tableau. So I've brought the Superstore data set into Tableau just to demonstrate. You can do this with your own data. I'm going to throw profit up onto the rows shelf. I'm going to grab order date and put that onto the column shelf and change that to monthly data. So I've got one uh, sort of squiggly line here. And let's break that out into region. So I'm going to put region onto the detail tab and region onto the color shelf. And so you can see I've got my four lines, central, east, south, and west here. And if we go into the color shelf and click, we can go to edit colors. And if we go into this drop down menu, I'll move this up so you can see, you can see that these are the built in color palettes from Tableau. So I could go in and I can change this, you know, if I wanted to use, uh, let's just pick this Miller Stone one, assign palette and apply, I can get these different colors here. But if I go back in there and I have my own color palette, you can see that it's not here. So if I want to add my personal color palette, that's what I can do. So that I could just click and I don't have to do this manually each time because let's say we go back to automatic here and I assign that palette and I want this to be my own color. I could go in to my color chooser and I could pop in my RGB codes or my hex codes and change these manually, but that's only going to work for this one visualization. And so what we're going to do next is use the Tableau preferences file to actually change and create our own custom color palette. Okay, in part two, we're going to build our actual custom color palette in Tableau. On the left of my screen is the DataViz style guide from Eurostat. We're going to use these theme colors in our custom color palette. On the right is my preferences.tps file, which automatically shows up or is installed by Tableau. So you can see if you go to the same, basically same location on your hard drive, users slash, in my case, John slash documents slash my Tableau repository preferences.tps file. So you can just open that up in any text editor. I'm using uh, Visual Studio. And what you're going to see is this, an XML version code at the top, workbook, workbook. So what this is doing, if you've never seen code like this before, is it basically opens the workbook tag, and then this forward slash on the second line closes that tag. So anything that we're going to create, we're going to need to have it open and then close. And so we need to just do a few things inside this workbook uh, routine here so that we can build this custom color palette. So what we're going to do is to start and if you want to be really good about it, you can indent. But I'm going to open a preferences tag here. And again, I'm always going to close it. So I'm going to do forward slash preferences. And so this is going to open and close it. And then I'm going to go back in and inside that. And again, if you want to be really good, you can indent, make your code easier to read. And here's where we're going to start adding our color palette. So here's just a little bit of code that we need to write. So color hyphen palette. Then we're going to name it. So just write the word name and put in quotation marks. We're going to call this Eurostat, since that's what we're borrowing here. And we're going to add a type. Now, what does that mean? Well, we're going to use a categorical color palette. So Tableau is going to read that as regular. We can do a diverging palette. We can do a sequential palette. And we'll provide some resources below this video so that you can check out those other codes. But here, we're just going to add these nine theme colors so we can add them in a categorical way. Now, remember, we need to close everything. So we're going to close the color palette by just doing forward slash color hyphen palette. And now inside this bracket, we're going to add our colors. And again, if you want to be really good, indent. And here, we're going to open, we're going to use the tag color and throw a couple spaces in there, and then we're going to close it. And because this is going to be pretty short, I'm just going to use one line for each color. And so what we're going to do within this line, I'll just show you the first line here, is I'm going to copy and paste my color hex code, the hex code over here, 
uh, from the Eurostat color palette into my preferences file. And so you can see I have color, hex decimal color code, and then close the color. And so what I'm gonna do here is copy that entire line and just start pasting. I'm just gonna start adding this below each line. So you can see here, I'm just gonna add, and I'm just gonna, I'm not even really counting here, I'm just gonna do this. And then I'm just gonna replace these. So I need to go back, it's a little bit tedious, but you know, it's fine. Uh, make sure you have that, that hashtag, that pound sign before each code so that tableau knows that this is a this is a color code and i'm just i'm just copying and pasting that's all i'm doing here so because this pdf file is set up with text i can literally just double click copy bring it over there and paste and i'm going to copy the last one i brought too many so i'm going to delete that last line so this now is our preferences file i'm going to save that file and so again when I reload Tableau, I have to restart Tableau to get this to work. But all you could, all you, all I've done here is inside the workbook, I've added a new uh, set of code that says preferences open, preferences close. I'm gonna name and define the color palette at the top, color palette open, color palette close. And then each of the colors, color open, color close, color open, color close. And I can do as many of these as I want so that I can get this color palette. And so now in the last part, in part three of this tutorial, we're gonna reopen Tableau and we're gonna use our custom color palette to remake our line chart of profit using that Superstore data set. Okay, we're back in Tableau. I've opened an entirely new version of Tableau. So I quit before because I need to quit it before when I reopen it, it will reload the preferences file. So we're gonna to need to, we have a new instance of Tableau. I'm gonna do the same graph we made earlier. I'm gonna drag profit up to columns. I'll drag order date up, or, or, sorry, profit to rows, order date to columns, change this to month, and drag region over to detail and region over to color. And you can see again, we've got the basic Tableau color palette here. Let's go back to color and edit colors. And let's take a look at what we've got here. Here's the automatic, let's hit that drop down. Whoa, right there, there's Eurostat right at the bottom. That's our color palette that we created, that we borrowed. We can assign the palette just like before. If you wanna use some of these other colors, you can do that just the way you would with any color palette uh, in, in Tableau. And then you can apply and hit okay. And now you've got the Eurostat color palette already in Tableau whenever you need it. You can go back into color. It will always be there in the bottom. You can add as many of these want. You can do what I have done in, in my core version of Tableau, which is, you know, I might have Eurostat categorical, Eurostat sequential, Eurostat diverging, and so on and so forth. So I have each of these different color palettes at my disposal so I don't have to redo this manually each time. So that's how you create a custom color palette in Tableau so that you can make your graphs better, more effective, and be more efficient at creating them instead of having to do it manually each time.